Hey guys, Hollow here. So recently I've been getting a bunch of questions for what breaches Stella should be running, so I thought I would clear it up with a video. This video will show the different breach setups that you can do for each raid currently out in global, as well as the next raid that should be coming out in a few months. The two most common raids that you should be running at the moment should be the level 60 raid Altar Void, aka AOV, as well as the level 65 raid Hidden Hideout, aka HH. The difference between these two raids and future raids is that there are multiple spawns of minions that can allow you to activate certain brutes effects, most notably BSK Ecstasy and FLT Tactics. With this in mind, the optimal setup for brutes would be FLT Top and Head, BSK Gloves and Shoes, and Sin Pants. For FLTs, you should be running either Bunker Buster or Ballista, if you can afford the accuracy loss for the armor break stat, any defense without a negative stat, and tactics, since you will get a temporary boost in attack damage whenever you kill a mob. For BSKs, you should be running Melter, Fury, and Ecstasy. The alternative for Fury, if you cannot afford it, would be Bluff, but it comes with a somewhat significant damage loss. For Sins, you should be running Reckless, Backstep, and Technique. Notable replacements due to budget would be Grays for attack and Cat's Eye for technical. Keep in mind that while Stella does scale with attack speed, Generally, the extra armor break from Reckless will outweigh the attack speed from Grace, since her attack speed scaling doesn't scale linearly, but rather with breakpoints. For the next type of raids, we have the level 68 raid Lunar Fall, as well as the upcoming level 72 raid Violent Sun. In both of these raids, there are little to no minions for you to activate your ecstasy or tactics, so there will be different optimal setups. With the introduction of Lunar Fall slash Violent Sun gear, we can start to consider SD Head as a replacement over FLT Head. The easiest explanation of this would be to consider FLT Head as a flat increase in damage due to the attack and crit damage, while SD would be a scaling increase to DPS due to armor break. With that in mind, the best options for setups would be FLT slash SD Head, FLT Top, Sin Pants, Sin slash BSK Gloves, BSK slash SD Shoes. As you can see, there are many options to choose from depending on your budget. If you choose to run STs, you have to pick between Melter or Penetration as your attack brooch. Your choice here is generally between Consistency through Melter or the ability to high roll with Penetration. However, with enough attack speed, CDR, and crit chance, it can become very easy to have very high uptime on Penetration. With the introduction of VS Armor, you can even choose to run 3 or 4 of Penetrations. For the defense brooch, there are little to no brooches that can contribute to DPS. Some of the more notable mentions will be Vital, Illusion, and Vigor, with Vigor generally being the most useful. Similar to SD defenses, the technical pool is also very poor. However, there is a clear-cut winner with Enlighten as a pseudo-CDR proc. Other notable mentions will be Swift and Sway. For FOTs, we keep the same attack and defense. However, with the technical, we can change to Recon since tactics would be of little to no use. For the Sin Breaches, nothing changes as there are no other options. For BSKs, we keep the same attacks and defenses and simply swap our technicals to Fever following the same logic as the FOT sets. The reason there are so many brooch choices for LF gear is due to the lack of a need for on-kill brooches aka Ecstasy and Tactics. If you are lacking crit percent, then FOT and Sin Gloves are a way to increase that. If you are still missing accuracy, then ST Shoes will do the trick. Be sure to choose sets based on your personal stats and what you're missing. Finally, the future of the Brooch meta will be after we obtain Violent Sun Heroic Gear, which is currently the best set on the Korean server. With these stats, players will begin to start using 3-4 to four SD Penetrations as well as a Rainbow Pants set. The logic here is that the 5% difference between every penetration ends up being more damage than gains from BSK, Sin, and FLT sets. However, for Stella, she has a fairly low hits per second count compared to the other characters, so you can choose to run a little bit less. A fair compromise would be to run SD Head, Gloves, and Shoes while keeping FLT Top and Sin Pants. And that should pretty much sum it up. If you have any questions or concerns, be sure to comment either on this video or join my Discord slash Twitch to let me know.